my video editing rig is starting to fail. At least the monitor is really failing anyways. I have two of these Apple Simina screens. One of them I got at the Goodwill for a couple dollars. The other one was a trash find. I forget which one it was. But one of them didn't come with the power cord. Or the, the power supply. It... I think it actually might have been the one I got at Goodwill. But anyways, I know I bought a power supply for one of them. I used to have two of the both of them here at this table. The other one, which was a little bit smaller, always worked perfectly fine. This one here was always slightly flaky. Every now and again, the monitor just wouldn't power on. And it originally was like every couple of months there would be an issue where it wouldn't power on and I'd have to fiddle with the power, the power supplies. What I usually would do, because there are different wattages, and there they are over there. There's two different wattages. And so what I would do is I would take the, the 90 watt, I think it is, or the one that's more powerful, which is what the bigger screen required. I would plug that one into the... I'd plug the larger monitor into the smaller power supply and it would immediately come on and the power light would just flash the error that it's the wrong power supply. Then I'd plug it back into the correct power supply and for whatever reason that would make it work. And then it would operate fine for several months and it would have an issue again and I'd do that. That several month problem a couple of weeks ago turned into like once a week. And then this past week it turned into like a couple times a week. And then this weekend, it was every single day. And so I said, that's it. I can't deal with that anymore. So I'm going to have to retire this monitor and replace it, which I'm really disappointed by because I, I really liked the setup. This was the only setup I had that was brand uh, uh, exclusive, I guess you could say, because most of my setups are just thrown together with miscellaneous things I got out of the trash. But this one was all Apple. The, the screen was Apple, the mouse and keyboard was Apple, and so was the computer. So I kind of liked that it was like a matching set of equipment. And the monitor itself, I really liked. The text was really sharp. The coloring was fantastic. If you were to like, I, I usually use a laptop next to this. And in comparison to the laptop, like almost any laptop, this screen had such vibrant and clear coloring even to me in comparison to the laptop so I really liked this screen and I'm extremely disappointed that it's not working anymore I think I can't prove this enough that I would want to spend the money on another one but I, I think it's just the power supply so I'm not going to throw out the screen yet or maybe I'll get another power supply the problem is the power supplies are getting very scarce and if you find one, they're usually pretty expensive. And since I'm not completely certain that it's the power supply, I'm not sure that I want to buy another one. Because I have some other monitors I can test, and maybe the coloring is as good. So the bottom line is the monitor is going to get replaced for now because I need this to work correctly because I use this thing every day, almost every day. So... The monitor just has to work. The whole thing has to work because it's too frustrating if it doesn't work. Just for the time being, because this is the only 1080p widescreen monitor I had that wasn't in use. I don't have a lot of 1080p screens. This is the only one I had that wasn't in service. I just threw this one in place. I used to have this in the bedroom for a very brief period of time. And I didn't like it at all in the bedroom. I found that the picture wasn't quite clear had kind of like a smear to it and the coloring was super blue I don't know if it's going to pick up on the video too well in person here it, it looks terrible it's very blue these are regular halogen 2300k lights and this to me looks like 4000 or 5000k it's so blue and since I use this in the evening a lot is when I edit the videos I want it to be kind of more of a warm color because the blue light affects the melatonin and release in your purse and then you can have sleeping issues. So I prefer a warmer monitor in the evening. And I have been able to go into the 
sysprof here and I can change the color rendering, I can I can do this and, and kind of like see now how it whoops, oh it didn't stay. If I turn this on, come on, turn on. See now like it kind of matches the color of the background of the room. That's the way I like the monitor to be set. You shouldn't have to turn it all the way down like that in order for the coloring to be correct. I tried to adjust the coloring in the monitor settings and it just wasn't I couldn't get it to the point where I liked it. So anyways, the monitor it's like it's super blue. The coloring on this thing is terrible. And I find the text is not very clear at all. Now, I noticed it wasn't very clear in the bedroom. I kind of disregarded it because I don't know what it is with the bedroom, but it's a VJ connection in the bedroom. And very consistently, at least once or twice a year, the VGA cable in the bedroom goes bad and I have to replace it. And it's not the computer because I've used many different computers in there and it's not the monitor because I've used many different monitors in there and the same thing keeps happening. I don't understand it. But the cable has been in there for several months. So it's probably about to spoil. So I kind of disregarded the fact that the monitor wasn't super sharp. But in here, this is DVI, it's a different computer, and it's even worse. It's it's even more not clear than it was in the bedroom. This really wasn't the camera to use for this video because this doesn't focus super close up, but to me it's just, like, it's not quite clear. And then the third problem with this screen, and this is probably just because some stuff got thrown on top of it when it was in the trash, it's got a lot of blotches to it, and you can see like right in the middle of the screen there, it's got some dark spots. It's got a dark spot up at the top, it's got one over here. And depending on what you're looking at, it's pretty noticeable. So, I think, I think I'm just going to throw this monitor out because it's really rare that I, I get rid of something. But I just don't like this monitor at all. And the coloring is bad, and no one is going to want it because it blotches on the screen. I, there's just, I'm never going to use it. There's absolutely no use case that I want to put this monitor in. So I think I'm just going to recycle it because there's no point in keeping it around. Monitors take up a lot of space, and I have several vintage monitors that I'd much rather have the space for. So... I'll use this now until I get uh, bring them to the monitor tomorrow and see if that works satisfactorily. But this is just, this is a terrible screen. I don't know why it's so bad. You know, I had a, a, received a comment recently saying that Dell monitors stink. And I don't agree with that because I've used Dell monitors for years. I have this Dell monitor in the center which has spent years in the bedroom. I like that monitor just fine. And I have a Dell monitor in the uh, bedroom here, which is very old. This, uh, this monitor here, which has been in use for probably well over a decade. And it's that's a great screen. And um, I have some Dell monitors downstairs, which are nice. This is the first one that I've had that I really just don't like. I don't think it has a good picture. I, I don't like anything about it. And then um, they also said they weren't very reliable. And ironically enough, since I've received that comment, I had one break at work today. And then uh, I had that other one downstairs which failed. So that's two, two Dell monitors failed in recent times. I don't know. Maybe both of those were newer. So maybe their newer monitors just aren't that great. I don't know. Anyways, this monitor is terrible. And this monitor has broke, so I'm going to have to do something about my video editing thing. And then the computer itself is getting a little bit flaky as well. It's doing this stupid thing where it'll save the videos, or it supposedly saves the videos, but they don't have any, any sides to them. They're just like blank files. It's not even a single byte. So that's not very useful, of course. So, I don't know why it's doing that. And then I have to... Sometimes it'll just say, like, the movie, the library is broken or something. I don't know. It never used to do that. Maybe once or twice a year it would corrupt. You know, whatever. 
because I always leave the, the pictures on the SD card. I don't delete the, the picture off the SD card until I have the video saved and complete. So it's not really a big deal. I just delete it and re-import it and start over again. But that too has progressed. I used to do it like once a year, then it was every couple of months. And then this past week, it's happened three or four times. And then this keeps happening, which is infuriating. Because I this takes a couple of hours to go through. And so I click save and I go to sleep. And I get up the next morning and I go to upload it. And there's nothing to upload. They're all just zero bytes. It bites when it does that. So now, like, I have no videos to upload today because, uh, because it didn't save the ones from yesterday. So that's agitating too. But that's a software issue. I suspect. Um, I suspect if I re reinstall the operating system, that that'll that'll resolve. But anyways, that's that's the video situation. I've thought about just putting a whole different computer in this in this place, but the problem is this particular machine is the most powerful one that I have. And while I could go with a different one, like the um, that iMac that I had here before, I could always put that back in place, but it takes too long to save the videos. Like it takes four or five hours per video, and if I do four or five videos, it's three days just to save the videos. It doesn't even go fast enough to like keep up with the progress, so I don't know. This machine has has the highest specifications out of all the apples that I have, so it to me it makes sense to use it. I don't know what's going on with it. I gotta reinstall it. I have enough other Apple computers I could edit videos on that if it breaks, if this breaks, it breaks. It's not gonna stop anything. It's just a nuisance, that's all. So, that's it. A crummy Dell screen, and a failed Apple monitor, and a flaky computer. That's what's comprising my video editing rig for the moment.